Hello, it's Adrian Stern here from Top10PokerSites.net. Now, I hope you're having a fantastic Christmas and you're looking forward to the new year. Now, there's not many poker stories about today, so what I've decided to do is to look at some of the 10 worst and best Christmas presents poker players have received. Starting with that monstrosity you can see on the screen, that, dear viewer, is a poker-themed bow tie now ask yourself would you be seen dead wearing one of them well i'm sure some of you out there may just have received one for christmas and if so i dare you to wear it at the next poker tournament you take taking part in look at the state of that wow there's a bad boy well moving on to another present some of you poker players out there may just have received for christmas this year it's the poker mug now look at that would you, would you have liked to have been given that this Christmas? Well, I'm sure some of you have been given one. I'm not sure if you got the spoon with it, but there you are. I'm not addicted to poker. We're just in a very committed relationship. Well, I'm sure some of you out there will relate to that. But there you go. A few dollars. Not a bad present, I suppose. And it has a use, which is better than the uh, previous present, that's for sure. Now look at that. <laughs> What do you think of that? That is certainly a fashion statement. That is a poker player's cap. <laughs> Look at the state of that. Maybe you could wear it with the bow tie. And then you could have a matching set and look like a complete idiot. Well, there we go. That is the poker player's cap. Now, I am aware that one site has actually sold quite a few of them baseball caps. And I'm not sure if they're selling them to poker players or whatever. But if you do see people uh, sporting them this summer... Or through the start of next year well you know where they might have got them and there we go there's another present you might have received that isn't too bad it's not as hideous as the last couple of Christmas presents it is of course a mobile cell phone cover keep calm and play poker now, it's not too bad I suppose but mm, how many of you would want to wander around with one of them attached to your cell phone well you might have done you might have received and sure will in at least clip it on whilst whoever gave you the present is watching you can always take it off and throw it in the bin afterwards i suppose now moving on to a christmas present for poker players that is actually worth having it is the poker players gift basket as you can see on the screen now it's, it's nice to receive presents that you're actually going to use i suppose and uh, what have they got in there? they got a set of playing cards. Munchies, crisps, sweets, biscuits, all that kind of thing. A couple of dice. Mm, not sure what the dice are for. A few poker chips. I think you can eat them, which is always good. Spur deck of cards and a poker book. Um, that's not bad, actually. I wouldn't mind one of them myself if you're planning a poker night and you've received one of them. At least you're going to get some use out of that Christmas present rather than the ones I've uh, previously looked at. Now you've always got to be wary when somebody gives you a DVD for Christmas because it could be a weight loss one. <laughs> However, if you have received a uh, DVD with a poker film on it, how good is that? You can actually, if you've got a DVD player that is, how many people do, you'll get some use out of it watching it. And there's also some uh, DVDs which are based around poker playing strategy as well. They're handy gifts. If you're new to the game, you can always uh, sit down, tune in and learn how to play, play poker optimally. So that's a poker DVD. That's not a bad. On, on, a, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give that Christmas gift, I don't know, a 7? 7? 6 or 7? Something like that. Now let's face it, you're probably sat there right now with a Christmas jumper on. If somebody's got you one, show him willing. However, how about this as a gift? It's not a bad one, actually. I quite like this one. There's some hideous t-shirts out there, which have got some form of poker theme, I will admit. However, if you're the type of player who likes uh, annoying, shall we say, your fellow poker players, especially if you keep on beating them, how about this? It's a t-shirt with the uh, logo, I bought this shirt with your money, logo sprawled across the front of it. That's not a bad present, and obviously you can be a bit more adventurous with the uh, logo and the words on that. Well, there we go, that's a t-shirt for poker players. Now, here is quite a reasonable present for poker players uh it is a chip and card set if you like look at that that's not bad now actually there's a fair number of them on the market there's some quite cheap and nasty ones however that one does look quite good there's enough poker chips in there to keep you busy a couple of spur decks of cards 
So, if you've uh, received one of them, you'll be quite happy with that, I'm sure. But like I said, the, 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 the pr I've been looking at some of them online. The prices, you know, there are some cheap ones, I will admit. But the, the, the high quality ones, the better ones, do cost a small fortune. So, if somebody has bought you one of them, they may have paid a fair few dollars for it. Now, if you're well known as a poker player, you will have at some point for Christmas received a poker book. Now, there are hundreds of thousands of different books out there which will teach you strategies and how to play the many different poker game variants. However, biographies, I, I quite like reading them, you know, which are based around a poker player, probably a well-known one, which gives you an insight into the careers, how they started, how they progressed and how possibly they went on to win big or bust and go bankrupt so biographies mm, if you are going to receive a poker book i'm sure they're the best ones to receive unless you're learning the game then of course a strategy book will probably suit you much better and finally now here's a gift not many of you might have received or ever even thought of giving but it's to pay for somebody's buying at a poker tournament how cool would that be if somebody got you that for Christmas? You'd actually want to use that, wouldn't you? Buy in for either a land-based tournament or an online and mobile poker tournament. And there we go. I think that has got to be one of the best uh, Christmas presents a poker player can receive. So there we are. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you do have a fantastic new year. And make sure you check out the website. That's the top10pokersites.net.